week nine, week nine of COSC 1315. I understand it's been a busy week uh, with last week's assignment, week eight. Um, I have not yet reviewed the uh, assignment itself uh, or the uh, submissions, but I will be getting the grades out uh, hopefully Monday afternoon during my uh, office hours. And if you still have questions, please uh, feel free to contact and reach out so we can go ahead and uh, have that Teams meeting so that we can address any questions you have. We're going to go ahead right down to the uh, week nine exam that we mentioned before. Yes, we have an exam on this upcoming week. It will be consisting of 50 questions. Um, I took 30 questions of all the previous quizzes that we've taken over the weeks for CSS. And uh, I would add, added 20 more questions. So it's based on comprehension, not too much uh, far off of what you've already been studying. So if you already have a, a uh, clear understanding of CSS, it should be a breeze. We will be reviewing real quick chapters 3, chapters 10, chapter 11, chapter 12, 13, 14 and 15. This may look like a lot of chapters, but uh, I believe there was a couple of them in there that were very short and a couple of them on there like Canvas, this last ones that we reviewed were not very popular as far as a programming site. So uh, we just stuck on to the actual um, the literature of, 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 of what the book is presenting for us. So we're going to go ahead and real quick give you guys a quick study guide of what you're expected to to understand. Remember, your exam is um, is an open book, and of course, uh, any notes, any previous questions or quizzes that you've uh, done pertaining to this, of course, you're but welcome to use that. Of course, my um, <clears throat> the way uh, I'm requesting for students to comprehend is, of course, just this is comprehension. So. Uh, the questions might be worded slightly different, so expect that. And so, of course, what my, my learning method is is, uh, is is yes, you may use your notes, yes, you may use an open book, but just be careful with those minute changes on the questions that uh, um, can can throw you off just a bit. But uh, just you know, be careful, read learn, read throughout. Uh, also, uh, very helpful to keep that materials or whatever you've been using as far as study guides and stuff like that, please keep it handy. All right, uh, we're going to go ahead and go off in uh, lesson three uh, was your basic rundown of CSS. I believe this was the week that we did the uh, exam number one, and it was just a brief overview of CSS. So just read through real quick <clears throat> the importance is the background history of CSS some uh, very basic selectors and properties and classes and, and elements and attributes that we've added to the uh, HTML coding in whether it was inline or using external style sheets that will all, all be integrated into the lesson three aspect of the, of the quiz. I'm sorry, the exam. Uh, lesson 10, lesson 10, we did go over quite a few attributes that we added two pictures, we added center margin, uh, added center con uh, centering context uh, tent, um, adding pictures and placing them those throughout the, the pages. So we just give it a re uh, once over again and uh, everything that we've highlighted here, it will be pertaining to any and all questions related to lesson 10. Uh, lesson 11, the same way we uh, reiterated on the uh, unordered ordered lists and, you know, of course, basic lists using CSS now. You know, of course, formatting and adding attributes, um, uh, all that good stuff, and adding the fonts, adding more styling to the fonts itself as well as part of lesson 11. Lesson 12 was more of the creating the modern layout. So we focused this one to have a responsive layout for, for tablets, for mobile devices. And that was also very popular <clears throat> lesson that we we use a lot of those techniques to create your, your lab assignment. Uh, lesson three was, was brief. Uh, we did not take too much of this into our assignment, but you're still expected to learn some of the terminology, uh, some of the techniques that were used, 
uh, as far as like using the gradients and, and stuff like that just re give it a once over once again uh, use up your your notes backup and stuff and and of course the uh, questions from the quiz will be helpful for this for these two lessons 13 and 14 were simultaneous back to back <clears throat> regarding the um, the attributes 13 oh yes and 14 and 15 were uh, 15 was the one that was less pop the least popular of all uh, we did not do an assignment on lesson 15 due to some animations not working with Google so uh, but you are still expected to learn some of the terminology just to to be familiar with <clears throat> with some of the techniques and some of the um, the items that were presented in the book so that was it it seems like like a lot of folks but uh was one two three four five six seven i would want to get the css done and over with and uh, go into javascript um you are expected to read chapter four or lesson four i'm sorry you are expected to read lesson four and just to give you a basic rundown of what you are uh, the I want, I want to call it the can of worms because it is a completely different and completely separate from everything we've been learning so far HTML was its own animal uh, if CSS is the same way it's a different the different species altogether this would also be another um, the species altogether with the JavaScript so we're gonna be learning that from front to back from the very beginning and um, the week 10 but I do want you guys to get your feet wet I do have an assignment, a lab assignment. It is a surprise assignment. You are going to be very surprised with, with what I'm going to be requesting for the lab assignment number nine. Uh, this goes along with lesson four. This goes along with lesson four. Um, I myself, I created a couple of pages, and we're using simple programming. We're going to be having this particular code. Um, it's going to be very helpful for your your projects. So I do want you guys to get immersed, and you can follow along with these a uh, couple of pages. Uh, the first one that I brought out was a basic timer or a clock, and so what we have is a basic clock that runs time. Uh, I have not done any other CSS to it to so center it and make it nicer, nicer than what it is. Uh, I just did this a couple of minutes just to give you guys an overview that this is the level of programming we're going to be jumping into in week 10. So what we do here is we're starting a timer by a press of a button and then of course we have a reset of a timer. We're going to be learning some of that on week 10, starting week 10. So on another one, uh, one that I want you guys to review is uh, the second page of the assessment. And it's also, again, it's also a timer, but this one was with days. And I'm using JavaScript. And the reason I have all this here is because I inserted, deliberately inserted the JavaScript as an inline script in the HTML. So I want you guys to, to go ahead and, and uh, inspect it. This will be the latter part of the week once you get your exam done over with but or you know possibly even on a Sunday afternoon next Sunday I know we have Halloween I know there's holidays coming up <clears throat> but re uh, remember I do you are expected to at least start getting uh, your feet wet and start learning some of these concepts that that uh, that are gonna be very important you're gonna have to start learning about functions and start having uh, build constructors and things like that so this will Will give you a, a basic rundown of what you're expected to to uh, start learning in the upcoming weeks right. so those were two items of the third item i will leave it as a surprise once again i do you are expected to submit the week nine lab assignment and there is a, uh, a designated page you go to this page uh, you follow the instructions on the the HTML page aspect and then you insert your submission here what it is I'll leave it as a surprise uh, very basic uh, there is no program programming uh, whatsoever but you are uh, this will also 
will also explain to you the objective and the reasoning behind the uh, the coding. Now, on week 10, we'll go over the code and what's going to take for it to be applied to your pro your projects if you want to start adding that feature in 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 your own in your own settings or your own your your own personal projects. So that was basically it. Um, like I said, week nine, chapter four is just a basic understanding of JavaScript. <clears throat> Remember, folks, we're gonna be teaching the same way we are doing CSS. Uh, we have inline scripts versus external scripts for this first week. I do want you guys to get familiar with inline scripting. Why? Because it helps you check your own programming right off the bat. For instance, if you start doing external sheets and for whatever reason you're missing, you know, uh, uh, close bracket, etc. Uh, it's very, it's, it's a little bit harder to tell what, where your, your error is, is, uh, is coming from. It's either in your HTML page or from your, your external style script sheet. So, so for the time being, we will work with inline scripting. <clears throat> there are a few, a few tools that I've added. And we'll go through that really, really, really quick on your color course content. If you guys want to get uh, some further ahead on your reading, so beyond lesson four, I believe up the following week will be lesson 22. So we're going to go ahead and dive right in right after lesson four. So if you guys want to get, start getting a better understanding um, you know, these are tools to make you become a better programmer. There's something called um, code pen that allows you to insert code and then it'll give you the direct results. So you don't have to be going back and forth and submit and inserting your pages on your, um, on your, what's called on your, on your server. And so you, you use code pen to analyze your code back to back and then once you're done developing it you can simply copy and then create on your server create the pages and copy paste on your on your on your file manager so this is also this is going to be a very good tool for um, a you know job for doing javascript and even doing going back and, and doing some of the css in conjunction because you're going to be working with three different languages and they all have to speak together and the end present is something you know that you have to be able to view in the front end and remember when when I go in I'm looking at at what's being displayed and of course uh, when you have missing elements or attributes and of course now that you're going to have a third sheet <clears throat> such as JavaScript it's going to be very um, meticulous so um, you keep a lookout if you have a chance go over it if not we'll go over it again on week 10 uh, and but we'll dive right into lesson 22 on the week 10. Uh, additional readings, if you still um, have, uh, I know you're going to have a lot of questions, but you can have, if you still have questions regarding uh, what JavaScript is, uh, there there's uh, additional readings. And this is uh, MDN, MDN um, through Mozilla, Mozilla uh, Firefox has a very, very good program on web development using JavaScript. So this is called MDN, MDN uh, using uh, Mozilla Firefox. And, uh, and if you have additional, additional, uh, you want to start from scratch, you don't, you're absolutely a fish out of water when it comes to, to programming, I would also recommend you uh, going into the JavaScript basics. So one, two, three very good tools to go ahead and start getting immersed into uh, JavaScript for the time being please do get ready for the exam of course we'll review one two three four five six seven uh, it does seem like a lot and 50 questions also does seem like a lot but I'm, uh, I'm considering that 50 questions will also allow that point points to 
to spread out and asking for two points on each question does not make it so critical. But uh, of course, you've already gone through a lot of these this quiz uh, questions already through all of these weeks that we've been reviewing CSS. So it should be no um, <clears throat> nothing new than what you've already been reviewing. Uh, I will I'll be allowing now the the uh, week eight assignment. I'm going to open it back up. So those of you that still want to turn that in, your week eight. Um, lab assignment is now available for you guys to, to complete. Um, the Flipgrid, I have not checked in just yet. I am waiting on a couple of more people to also to submit their Flipgrid uh, assignments, so your submissions. Uh, I'm very much looking forward to that. Uh, the reason is, is I want to take the time to comment, um, comment on each of the individual Flipgrid videos and the Flipgrid submissions. So I do want to take the time and, and independently write my comments so that it can better enhance uh, your scope of work of what you should start concentrating for your for your project. And I understand this is very early on. Week eight uh, seems like it's very early, but believe me, uh, starting getting getting all these the uh, resources together with ample time will help you develop uh, a much better quality item at the end of the semester. Okay. So once again, my office hour is uh, on Monday, which is Monday, and uh, between 6 and 7, feel free to, to join via Teams. I will have that link up again. Uh, if not, you can use any of the links on your discussion, on the messages board, uh, follow it. If you need to have a one-on-one -on -one, uh, as well, you can also configure that. We'll meet up via Teams, and then we can also designate a particular date and time to have that, that Teams meeting extended to uh, go ahead and, and address any concerns or questions regarding any of the previous assignments or even future assignments. Like, for instance, you need help with uh, gathering information for for your project, that is the uh, perfect time to go ahead and do so, even during during the office hour, or of course develop a you know a time and and date for that, so that we can address those other questions you got. Okay. So yes, we have the week nine. We have our study guide. We have an exam. We have the reading, lesson four. Just an overview. There is no quiz for, for lesson four. And of course, your week nine lab assignment is a surprise. And it's not what you guys expect. And so therefore, I'll, I'll leave you guys so that you guys can, can look at it. And of course, what we'll ask you guys to do your submission for your week nine lab assignment underneath here. Okay. So I'll leave you guys with that. Of course, you have the rest of the week to to uh, complete every, uh, all the, the, the requirements for, for week nine. Okay.